Hi, my name is Craig from idiotproofblogging.com and today I'm going to teach you how to edit the footer in WordPress blog. And depending on the theme you use, it could be a little different, but I'm going to teach you how to edit the footer in the themes that I give away at idiotproofblogging.com. So let's get started. You want to log into your WordPress admin panel, okay? And uh, it'll look like this if you're running WordPress 2.7 and then you want to scroll down left hand uh, navigation panel and click on edit go ahead and click that there now over here on the right hand side you're looking for this footer so go ahead and click on that now it's a good idea for you to click here or anywhere within this box select all control a and then control C which is copy. You don't want to make any changes without copying, uh, without making a backup. Okay, so here's our backup. You can save it to say a uh, theme footer or something like that and save it somewhere. This way, if you make any mistakes, you can just select all copy and here, just paste that right back there and then scroll to the bottom and click update and you can uh, fix any mistakes that you made. Okay, uh, right now, if we look at the footer here it says contact us terms of service trademarks privacy policy you can change this to whatever you want and you can change the links to where it goes to wherever you want and how you do that is you like I said you you in, inside of your footer uh, right here it says contact us okay but there's really no link it's not going anywhere so what we'll do is we will uh, make this go to Google just for an example Google okay and then right here we'll put uh, the Google's website address okay so here there it is it's um uh, google.com right in these quotation marks is where you put your address and then right here is where you what you want it to say okay and then you scroll to the bottom and just click update file now you go to your blog and then you can hit refresh F5 on your shortcut for the keyboard and here it is it says uh, Google right here and if we click on that it'll go to Google okay and that's how you do it and the reason why it's selected black this is black it's because we clicked on it but if, if you don't click on it, then it shouldn't go black. It should all be like white. And let's go back. And the next link, same same thing. Write whatever you want here. And then put the uh, website address here. If you don't want this, you can just take, you can just delete this from, from the, this is what's called a closing tag, right? A, and here's A, so we just, well, we oh, right here we can just go like this so it says terms of use okay so all we have to do is delete that now we want to delete this too because uh, this is the uh, link separator mark and if you don't delete that you'll have two link separating marks so we click update file go to your blog hit refresh and uh, it, it deleted that that um link okay uh, right here it says built with WordPress that's that's a good thing and you want to uh, pay attribute to uh, wordpress.com for, for creating the software and just uh, letting you use it for free but a little side note um, where does it say that here it is WordPress most blogs say powered by powered by WordPress you don't want it to say powered by because if you put powered by WordPress um, people are searching powered by and it's it's one way hackers search for your website so you just want to put built with or a, a gift from or anything but powered by okay and that's it I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have fun blogging with WordPress